What's the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the beast, the absolute monster in the box, Ian Collar, as he bangs in another powerful header lads. He's an absolute tank. He's probably one of the best players I think in the in the game aerially. So in the in the air, he's probably the best player that I've played with. I know we've got Lewandowski, Benzema is quite good, Cavani is actually quite good. We do have a GP alternative as well that stacks up incredibly close to Collar in terms of everything. Finishing, heading, uh, you know, speed, strength, power and uh, player skills as well as height and weight. So make sure and keep watching the video for that as well if you do not want to get uh, Collar. So Collar is available as you see here in the eFootball points shop along with Oliver Can. He's 5,000 eFootball points as you see here with the rest of the guys that are there. Uh, Lodi uh, is 5,000 as you see there. So it's the same for Can and Collar and there's a couple of others in there as well. Paul Scholes is there, Inamoto is there, there's a couple of other guys there as well that are legends and a mixture then between other players like John Stones and Diaz from Liverpool is there as well. But I think that this would probably be the best 5,000 you'll spend apart from Oliver Can. Now this is my version of Collar. I'm going to be showing you a slightly different version of him. Um, if you don't take the playstyle proficiency into consideration, right? He has got unwavering form. He has got first time shot. He has got long range shooting. He and he has heading. He's ninety five heading stats, ninety three physical contact, and eighty nine kicking power with eighty three jumping. Right. So. I mean, I think he's a beast, man. I think he's one of the best, as I said, he's one of the best players that I've used to just get on the end of crosses. You have to be playing out wide and swinging crosses into him. You're not going to be dribbling with this guy. I mean, he's he, he's a one-man army, really, up front, but he's very limited in what he can do. Like, he's very limited. He's not going to be running, gunning like Romario. He can't dribble. He can't really bring players into the game. His offensive awareness isn't high enough for him to be making incredible runs. And he's a slow as molasses man he's super super slow but this is the formation i'm playing with him so it's a modified 5-2-3 and i switch to a tree uh, at the back into a kind of a a different formation when i am playing a little bit more aggressive so it's like a 3-4-3 um but you'll see here right like literally all the goals that you're going to get with him you'll see here he brings a little player into the ball into the box here he's going to go continue to run in and he's just going to hang at the back post, waiting for the delivery in. His movement in the box isn't bad, uh, but once you put the ball in anywhere near the vicinity in there, lads, he's just a game changer for you. Now, what I usually do is I bring him on in the second half, and, you know, he's won me matches. You'll see in the Dream Team Chronicles episodes that I've done, I've brought him on. He's just completely closed out games for me. Um, you know, and he's a huge threat to have. I think there's a big conversation to be had of whether you should have a tall player that can win an aerial ball. Uh, are just two fast guys up front. I definitely think there is room for somebody like Collar there. Because if you look at him, right, this is the version I would possibly train up if you are playing out wide or long ball and you don't want to worry about your team play style proficiency. I would probably have his heading up as best as possible. And my version of him is only at a 95. And I do think that that could actually go a little bit higher. You could have 98 physical contact and 99 header, which would mean that he's going to dominate every single player in the game, apart from maybe like one or two, if you've boosted them up uh, with their maximum physical contact. He's just literally going to be bullying people left, right and center in the box. I'm not talking about when you control him. I'm talking about when the AI is controlling him. You just won't be able to get the ball off him. The CPU won't be able to get the ball off him. So unless you're going to manually be defended by a really good player, Collar is going to get like a lot of, a lot of balls in the air. Now, I want to focus on this guy, Anuachu. He's a monster as well, lads. You can see there he's got a very similar height and weight. He is a target man as well. He is available for about 32,000 GP. He goes up to an 87 overall player. But look at those stats. 96 header, 96 physical contact. He's actually faster than Collar by a good bit. But he doesn't have the jump. He doesn't have the kick and power. And he doesn't have the finishing that Collar has. Well, it's very similar. He doesn't have the offensive awareness like totally matched with Collar. But if you are looking to stay free to play and you don't have enough eFootball points to actually get Collar, he is the next best thing. Now, one thing I will say about Collar, lads, is, uh, you know, you have to play him in a very specific way, right? He can hassle and he can win the ball back, as you see here. His movement into the box with his offensive awareness isn't bad. We do get a good chance here. 
He's going to just round this up. It's a big, long chance. You can see his movement in the box. Just focus on where his movement is, his AI movement. He does track back a bit, but the best thing to get out of collar is is literally once you get the ball in an out wide position, he will run into the middle of the net, into into the middle of the goals, and then he'll either come front post or back post depending on where you put the ball. He's got excellent AI when you put the ball into the box like that. I think the stunning shot, the stunning crosses work really, really, really well for collar. Um, that was the clip we saw at the start of it. But look, if you are going to be playing him, this is a simmed match that I that I that I was doing earlier. Um, this is kind of what he's all about. He can miss chances, but you are going to win free headers. And this was against the AI. Uh, we were just simming a match, looking to get some free uh, player of the week players or the spin. But this is what he's all about, man. He's just getting across the, the defender, and he really should have scored that one. To be honest with you, there, he really should have scored that one. But yeah, look, there are frailties to him as well. There are things that let down this card. Um, you'll just see another goal here that we that we simmed. There are things that let down this card as well. Um, I think most notably is that you just can't dribble with him, and you can't dribble with him. So you, you're going to have to be, you know, using him the way he's meant to be used. Crosses, you know, in at the front post, in at the back post, and just being genuinely you'll see here you can't use him like this like you can't use him running and gunning no matter what difficulty you're playing against or even definitely not online you can't use him like this like coming short to bring other players into the ball um his shooting isn't as good as other strikers i think this guy is you know he's a one-trick pony in the box lads but he's an incredible one-trick pony you know he does what he does extremely well like again you'll see here we spread the ball out if this is Romario, like Romario has that controlled or Mbappe has that controlled and gone or else passed away. Now, you know, the other thing is you're not going to be really chasing and tracking and hassling and harrying with him either. And his passing ability, his dribbling ability, nothing is tight or responsive. So you do have to use him in a very specific way. But it's not the worst thing, you know, that's not the worst thing I think um, that you could possibly do. Because if you do have if you do have him there in your arsenal, to have him off the bench, it is good. So I do give him a rating of 7 out of 10. He's effectively a free card, lads. He's a free card. So I definitely think he's worth it. I think if you're talking about him being a free card and you're talking about using him in a very, very specific play style, I think he goes up to like a 10 out of 10. If you're using him, as I showed in this video for an actual target man, for a guy to get on the end of headers, to just be a nuisance in the box and to really kind of like scare your opponent because I've won games with Collar where I've brought him on where Romario has done nothing for me and I've really struggled with the one-two passing and one-touch passing and the build-up play and, you know, dribbles and skills and everything. I just can't score. And Collar comes on and it's, you know, it's like taking a hammer to a nail. It just does what it says and boom, you can score a lot of goals with Collar. But overall, I do think the rating of 7 out of 10 is fair. If you are a good player and you play a lot of wide play, you can turn this guy into a 10 out of 10 player very easily. But that is my overall rating for him. I do love him. I would probably give him my own rating of 9 out of 10 for the way I play and my play style within that 4-3-3 or that 5-2-3 formation I play. But let me know what you guys think. I'll be back quite soon, lads. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.